My name is David Pritchard. I'm a, I'm a historian from the University of Queensland in Australia. And my new book is about uh, public spending in ancient democratic Athens. And it's a book about a debate which is 200 years old. So 200 years ago, the pioneer of Greek history, August Burke, he wrote a very famous work called The Public Economy of Ancient Athens. And in that work, uh, Burke concluded that the Athenians spent a great deal more money on festivals than on war. And uh, he was very certain of that view, and he quoted some ancient authors uh, to bear that view out. In addition, in that book, he had some strong views as well about how the Athenians paid for their democracy. He thought that the Athenians actually taxed the allies of their empire unjustly to pay for democracy. And so that uh, Athenian imperialism really was the thing that made developed democracy in Athens happen. And what's interesting about these two debates is that they've really raged unchecked for the last 200 years. So for the last 200 years, ancient historians uh, on different sides of the Atlantic have taken different positions about whether the Athenians spent more money on festivals than war, and they've taken different positions on how the Athenians paid, how the Athenians paid for their democracy. Now, Burke, 200 years ago, wasn't in a position really to come up with hard evidence to back up his points of view. And although the evidence to allow us to make uh, statements about finances has emerged in the last uh, 200 years, scholars to date haven't really looked at the figures. They haven't looked at the evidence of actual public spending to work out whether the Athenians spent more on festivals or war, and to work out how the Athenians paid for their democracy. That's what I've done with my new book. I've taken the evidence of, that has accumulated over the last 200 years, and on the basis of that evidence, I've worked out how much the Athenians spent on their three major public activities. It was a, a labour of love, it took a great deal of time, there was a bit of guesswork involved, but I believe now that I now have hard figures for how, uh, what the Athenians spent on their three major public activities, namely war, festivals and politics. And I have to say that the conclusions from this estimating is really quite striking. In actual fact, although many ancient historians have believed Burke over the last 200 years, in actual fact Burke got it wrong. His estimate about relative spending on festivals was dead wrong. And when you actually look at the figures, you work at how much they spent on festivals and wars, you see very clearly that the Athenians may have spent a lot of money on festivals, implicating their gods, but they spent very much more on fighting their wars. In addition, it's clear, and this is a significant point about democracy, is that the Athenians were able to raise the money to pay for government from the taxes, taxes they levied on themselves. It means that we now know that Athenian democracy didn't rely on the exploitation of allies and subjects in an empire, that Athenian democracy was able to cover its own operating expenses by taxing the Athenians alone. And so my book, in conclusion, really shows, once again, that, that the Athenian demos, while they were committed democrats, while they were cultural innovators, uh, while they loved the good life in the city, they saw as their topmost priority the waging of war against other Greeks.